Next team I want to talk about who could make some pretty big moves at this upcoming NBA trade deadline is the Chicago Bulls. They're a team that hasn't been talked about too much, but I do think are definitely just one of the more interesting teams uh, going into this deadline because they're in a bit of a weird position as they're the 10th seed. They're a team that's not good enough to be a really solidified playoff team, but they're also not bad enough to get an upper echelon pick. So they kind of just have to pick what direction they're going in. And they have a lot of guys on this roster who are very clearly talented, but don't really fit too well uh, with each other. So I definitely expect some big moves to be coming, whether it be at the trade deadline or in the offseason for Chicago. I've always talked about and I'll always advocate for a Lonzo Ball and Kobe White and then whatever each team will want to add on top of it swap. I think that'd be really nice for both teams. I think the Bulls would have to add some more value because Alonzo's been so good recently. Uh, But I do think Kobe White would be a much better fit in New Orleans than he is in Chicago. He would be a guy who, if they were committed, or if they just couldn't get rid of Eric Bledsoe, uh, they could actually put him alongside Bledsoe and have Kobe play his natural position, which is the two. He could just be a bucket getter, not really worry about playmaking that much, and then space the floor uh, for Zion and Ingram. I think that'd be really, really nice, and it could allow him to be a much better player than he is right now. And then Lonzo is one of the most beautiful fits ever in Chicago, man. Him and Zach Levine would create a nasty backcourt because they have a lot of opposites uh, that would make them just work so well together. Where Lonzo's the playmaker, he's the defender, he can rebound the ball, push the pace, while Zach Levine is just the pure bucket getter. He can get catch-and-shoot opportunities off of Lonzo. That would be one of the best shooting backcourts in the league, and it would just bring that playmaking void that the Chicago Bulls are definitely missing out on. So that would be a just beautiful move, and uh, definitely a move that I really hope the Chicago Bulls are trying to make. I know they offered like Thomas Adoransky in two second-round picks, you're just not going to get Lonzo for that I think you're going to have to give up like Kobe White and I honestly think that's a good move because I just don't love the fit of Kobe White and Zach Levine but I'm absolutely in love with the fit uh, of Zach Levine and Lonzo Ball potentially I think that'd be a fantastic move for them also wouldn't be surprised if we see Lowry Markinen gone Lowry's obviously a very talented player and he's having a great season really big bounce back year uh, from last year where he was just completely misutilized And not nearly as good as we all knew he could be. Uh, But he's coming up on a contract extension. And some team, I don't know what team it's going to be, but some team is going to give Lowry Markkinen a bag. And that's for sure because he is a big man who can shoot. And that is so valuable. But he's also a big who can take guys off the dribble. And just as a whole has a pretty uh, well-rounded offensive game. Uh, And I just do think it is. It does make sense for the Bulls to move on uh, from Lowry. Obviously, again, good player, uh, but teams are going to give him money that I think it wouldn't make sense for them to match. So if you could sell him while his value is high to a team that believes in his potential and his long-term fit with whatever team does trade for him, uh, I think that would be a really good move for them because they got a guy like Thaddeus Young who's been so great this year, and they definitely uh, sound like they're committed to keeping. And they drafted Patrick Williams as well. So you already got uh, pretty good forwards on their roster and forwards who fit much better with Levine. Because a lot of times, it's just a bit of an awkward fit with Levine and Markin, and even though they're both good players in their own right, a lot of times it just doesn't make too much sense with them on the floor, especially on the defensive side of the ball. So once you have more defensive-oriented wings out there in Thaddeus Young and in Patrick Williams, you can move on from Lowry and get some good value from him. Maybe you could even get Lonzo for a Lowry trade just Uh, due to the fact that the Pelicans need spacing and need some shooting. I wouldn't really love that trade for the Pelicans because it would kind of force uh, Lowry to be a five, which he just never has shown uh, the ability to be. Uh, But I'm sure there's a ton of teams that will at least uh, have some interest in Lowry and will uh, at least think about it. Maybe you make a move with a team like the Magic. I've even thought about this, uh, and it was an idea brought up on the Through the Wire podcast. Shout out to them, one of the best podcasts Uh, If you want to 
listen to NBA basketball out there, uh, they brought up the idea of a Nikola Vucevic trade. Now, I don't think the Magic are really uh, just willing to get rid of Vucevic, but if they were willing to get rid of Vucevic, I think that would actually be one of the best landing destinations because as much as I love Wendell Carter and love his potential, there are just some things that he's simply not good at, and it mostly comes from his physical attributes. He's a super smart player, great off-ball defender, a pretty decent rebounder, but he is a really, really bad one-on-one defender because he's just so undersized compared to a lot of these other centers. So he just gets bullied by guys like Embiid, and that's why we consistently see centers go off against the Bulls. So if you could get a solid uh, presence in Vucevic who you could really rely on, and you wouldn't have to have Thaddeus Young running the small ball five so much. Like, they were running Thaddeus Young and Otto Porter in the front court against Jokic. If you could actually have a really solidified and legit center in Vucevic uh, with a package centered around, like, Lowry and Otto Porter and then whatever other stuff the Magic would want, I think that's a super interesting idea uh, for sure. Maybe a team like the Pistons would want uh, to buy on uh, Lowry because they have cap flexibility going forward. I don't really know what assets they'd be willing to give up, but he'd be a really good fit alongside Isaiah Stewart. Isaiah Stewart, really good defensive big man, and then you get uh, a really good shooter, and Lowry and Isaiah's also already shown the potential to shoot as well. Uh, There's just a ton of interesting moves that the Chicago Bulls could make, maybe even a Wendell Carter trade. I don't know at this point, but I'm just excited to watch uh, what they could potentially do, and I'm really, really interested to see what they do at the trade deadline because they're just one of those teams that really hasn't been brought up that much, uh, but I do think they could make some of the biggest moves out of every NBA team at this 2021 NBA trade deadline.